Before you feared anything, who was the first to fear? Have you ever wondered what fear really is? Not in your own life, but in the very first heartbeat of humanity? Close your eyes. Picture the silence of a world before words, before stories. Somewhere in that silence, a living being trembled. But who was it? Was it a single moment, a single spark, when fear first entered the universe? Or something older, woven into life itself? Was it a human, staring into the night and seeing glowing eyes in the dark? Or was it far older, a creature before us, shivering at thunder's crash, unsure if the sky itself was safe? Could fear have begun not in the mind at all, but in the body, the instinct to flinch, to run, to survive? If fear is universal, then where does it truly begin? Scientists tell us fear is ancient, rooted deep in the amygdala. Zebrafish release alarm chemicals when one is harmed, warning the group. A survival language written not in words, but in signals of dread. Psychologists have shown how mice can be conditioned to fear a harmless sound if it's paired with a shock. And religions describe fear as born with awareness itself. Adam hiding in the garden, spirits trembling before their gods. Maybe fear never started in one instant, but spread across life like a shadow. Think of fear as the universe's oldest warning bell, a signal that says, pay attention. This matters. Maybe the first to feel it wasn't one being at all, but every living thing, the moment it realized, I could be harmed. Asking who felt it first is like asking when fire became flame. It was always there, waiting for something alive enough to notice. And maybe the fear you feel today, the heartbeat, the breath quickening, isn't new at all, but an echo of that first trembling. So who was the first to feel fear? the first spark of dread in an endless chain of survival. We may never know, but maybe the answer lies in the silence before words inside every heartbeat.